July 3rd. Christmas Valley, the A6 and True Direct tonight. And then uh, Alvor Desert tomorrow night. And maybe the third night. And then on to Jordan Valley for Coffee Pot Crater and the Waihee River. And then Friday we'll head to Boise to uh, hang out with Ben and the family. It'll be, uh, it'll be a full adventure. So we've escaped civilization. Traffic has died almost completely. We've only passed a couple cars on this road. Uh, hopefully it stays that way. Waiting for the mountain house to finish. Migration brewing. Patio pail. Had this before, I know I like it. It's the end of day one. We hiked up to the A6. Intruder crash site. It was a bitch of a hike. Um, well, it really wasn't. It was only two and a half miles. But the first part's all uphill. So that was <coughs> challenging. Seeing that A6 intruder site was humbling to know that uh, two people crashed there. And the fact that <clears throat> they just left the pieces of the airplane there as a memorial, um, it's kind of cool, but definitely humbling. Oh God, there's mushrooms in here. Yeah. But other than the mushrooms, it's pretty damn good. This is everything I wanted it to be. Quiet, just solitude and peace. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of this week. Tuesday morning, 4th of July. I uh, just got breakfast, made my coffee, started packing up a little bit. Diego sacked out. I think uh, that hike took a lot out of him yesterday. Last night was good, slept well. Uh, <laughs> at some point, I looked outside and saw the moon and <clears throat> freaked out. Ripped open the door of the camp or the camper um, so I could take pictures, and inadvertently let all of the bugs in. So <laughs> there were a lot of bugs in the tent last night. Diego does not like getting out of the tent. It's about eight o'clock right now. I'm gonna finish packing up. Probably get out of here by nine, and uh, <clears throat> I think I am going to go back to the highway. The overlanding's fun, but uh, it's Tuesday already, and I got to be in Jordan Valley by Friday by Thursday. So we'll see what we can see. Manual recording will now start.
Hello, cows. Hi, cows. Just drove up from the highway. This is a little more of a detour than I had hoped for, but worth it. Everything in this truck is covered in dust. Shark Ranch is cool. I'm not going to hike up to the uh, gravestone. I know it's there. But um, yeah, we're going to get back on the road. It's 3 o'clock right now. I was hoping to get the fields by 6. I don't think it's going to happen. So hopefully we have enough gas to get all the way up to Alvord, camp tonight, and then come back to fields tomorrow for gas. We're at the uh, Alvord. Tonight's meal is going to be chicken and dumplings. Got the jet boil going. We are parked out literally in the middle of this lake bed. There's nothing around. We've got the uh, chicken and dumplings here. It smells amazing. Fuck yes. All right, so that's three for three on the mountain house. Chili mac was good. Beef stroganoff was good. And this chicken and dumplings is fucking amazing. Probably wouldn't go this route if I was camping with people. But when it's just me, mountain house all the way. Man, I'm so glad I did this. This is everything I thought it would be. Life is good. All right, so we're gonna try this new thing. Adventure beers. Tonight, and I'm probably gonna regret this because I've already had two beers with dinner, but this is a Cocoa Cow from Sun River Brewing. It's a chocolate milk stout, which sounds delicious. 17% alcohol, only 28 IBUs, so obviously it's a <coughs> stouts are low IBU anyway. Let's try this out. Coco Cow. Oh my god. Chocolatey, milky. It's. This would be really good with vanilla ice cream. <clears throat> like a Coco Cow float would be outstanding. It's thin. It's the only word I can think of. Like it's not. Uh, it's not heavy. It's it's like almost refreshing, which is weird for a stout. I guess. <clears throat> I would. I. I wish I had stocked up on these. These are delicious. All right. So. Coco Cow, Sun River Brewing. That's a winner. Drank too many beers last night. Diego's got a conundrum. There's, <laughs> look around, there's nothing for him to pee on. Except maybe the truck. <clears throat> I don't think he's ever peed on a truck. It's weird waking up in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh. Insomnia coffee? I guess technically it's Dapper and Wise Brewing, or Dapper and Bry's. 
Dapper and Wise Roasters. <laughs> Bonfire Blend. Used to be called Guns and Gold, but uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing somebody complained about the guns part, so now it's called Campfire Blend. Still delicious. One of my favorite uh, coffee bean blends out there. That's what we're drinking this morning. Wasn't sure how I'd feel about biscuits and gravy in a dehydrated meal, but it looks good. The gravy is actually pretty thick. No, this is mine. Oh, you need breakfast, don't you? <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to feed the dog, but. Holy shit. Mountain House has perfected this shit. I mean... <laughs> can't believe I'm eating this out of a bag. It is Wednesday. No idea what time it is because I don't know if I crossed the uh, time zone line or not. Last time my phone had a signal, but I don't know where it was. But this says 9.30. So it's either 9.30 or 10.30 or 8.30. I don't know. It doesn't feel like 9.30. So I'm guessing it's 8.30. Anyway, um, today did not go as planned. We uh, got Alvord okay. Got, uh, got the Jordan Valley to fill up with gas. That was, Jordan Valley is a weird place. I thought it was gonna be a bigger town than that, but it is not. And the gas pump was so slow. I was probably there for 15 minutes just to get 10 gallons of gas. <clears throat> Uh, after we got gas, we headed up uh, to look for uh, the Jordan Craters. And Gaia had me routed through private land. 
So I turned around, tried a different way, more private land. Tried one more route, uh, more private land. So I gave up, decided to come up to, uh, oh, what's it called? Sort of the last minute stop. I'll think of it later. Anyway, it's supposed to be right on the Owyhee Reservoir. So I figured, now nah, we'd camp by some water. Because that was the plan anyway. Um, got all the way down there. There were people camped by the water. So I went back up to the, there's a, like a campground type thing. And we kind of set up there, but it was 100 degrees. It was windy. It was, I don't know, just a weird vibe. And then five carloads of kids screamed down the road towards the water. So apparently there was a high school party tonight. Uh, anyway, I packed up, left. Figured I'd try a Slocum Creek campground. Didn't really want a campground, but whatever. Um, so we did the drive. And, uh, man, I can't even tell you. It worked out well. I don't know if you can see this behind me. It's this, it's, it's almost like, um, Jesus, I'm drawing a blank with names. Anyway, the place by belt. Sluice boxes. It almost feels like that, where it's just a creek cutting this deep valley through the middle of everything. It's just all of a sudden it's here, and there's this campsite right on the edge. So we took it. And now I'm making dinner. And then we're going to go to bed early, because uh, we're going to try to get out of here at a decent hour tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I really need a shower. I stink. Anyway, making some uh, spaghetti with meat sauce right now. Going to try the uh, freeze-dried ice cream sandwich afterwards. And finish my beer. And then go to bed. Continue for six miles. Sorry, buddy.